Zubox working against Bagley. Drops the shoulder. Point blank. Zubox opens the scoring. Pistons come away with another stop. Doing a good job defensively. Just haven't been able to buy a bucket yet. The carry over from Boston. Scratch that. Sadiq Bay steps into one. Love to see that, especially the way the other night went in Boston. 8 0 run for Detroit. Can they add to it? Cunningham. Bagley. Left hand floater. Gets the roll. Tie move. Time out. Clips 0 for the last eight from the floor. Bagley thought about the three. Thought better of it. Corey Joseph with time. Can he do it again? Corey Joseph. He's got a couple of threes. Nice. Morris. Working against Jeremy Grant. Still working. Marcus Morris, tough shot. Jeremy Grant, using the athleticism, reaches out. Pistons are rolling, up 17 to four. Another guy scoring. Last time we faced him in November, remember it was an afternoon game out in LA. Morris, through contact, we get continuation on that. Approaching three minutes to play here in the opening quarter. Corey Joseph dropping it off. Sadiq Bay, it's a 12 point lead again for Detroit. Saban Lee into the ball game for the first time. He's defending Reggie Jackson. Kelly Olenek also in for the first time. He's got his A. Hartenstein. Tough shot from Reggie Jackson. Gets it to go. Terrence Mann gives it up to Coffey. Coffey back over to Mann. Mann puts it on the floor. Mann, tough shot. Yeah. I like Mann. Remember his 39 point explosion in a closeout game against the Utah Jazz in the playoffs last year? No question. Woke a lot of people up for who he is and what he's capable of. Kelly Olenek wakes up the crowd here. Hartenstein gives it up to Luke Kennard. Working against the Olenek, saving lead, tried poking it free. The baby face, Brandon Boston Jr. Came in with the Rockets. A couple stops in Denver and Cleveland and has arrived in L.A. and they like what he's done. Shot blocker and an offensive rebounder. If you leave him open, he'll hit a three. Kate Cunningham working against the rookie. Cunningham. Wow. Wow. Kennard cutting. That's how he gets his first scratch. That was a clever cut. Back cut, no help side. All Luke Kennard needed to do was catch it and lay it. Good look from Isaiah Hartenstein to find him. Kate Cunningham, other end, splashes the pot of the They throw it away right to Sadiq Bay. And Sadiq Bay throws it away. Now the Clippers, they have numbers. Coffee. Coffee puts it in off the window. An unfortunate sequence of events there as the Pistons got the stop and turned it right back over. Saban Lee. Nice move. Saban Lee's been playing well since he got up from the G League. The Livers is one of those young players they want to take a good hard look at over the final 15 games. Livers buries the three. Hey. Kay Cunningham clapping his hands, saying, give me the ball. Batum gives it up. Wanted to anyway. Now Morris has it. Working against Livers. Five to shoot. Morris knows. Morris fires. Morris delivers. Jackson, head of steam, slings it. Extra pass. Morris, another three. Oh, boy. When Casey's oh seen about all he needs. Yeah. <laughs> Kay Cunningham, the quarterback. Pushes it ahead. Jeremy Grant, ton of space. Zubak didn't close out on him yet again. Try finding a few more fairways. I'm just kidding. Gabe <laughs> Cunningham working against Zubak. Got the pump bank up and under. Cunningham to Bagley. Rotating window. But defensively, they played well. Dwayne Casey sitting on 99 career wins as the head coach of the Pistons. And again, defensive breakdown. Reggie Jackson left nice. alone. Wow. So Pistons back with it. Up eight. Cunningham. Floating it from Marvin Bagley the third. Lob threat, anybody? Coffee. Crosses up. All ball. Pistons in transition. Jeremy Grant. Bay. Corner. Bucket. Yeah, no argument for me. Corey Joseph just picked up a personal foul. He's got three now. He and Jeremy Grant both with three fouls. 
Marvin Bagley also with three. Zubat starting to warm up offensively. Cunningham. Too easy. He a little trash talker out there. He said he'll talk if he needs to. Coffee. Sweeping move in the lane. That was tough. Pretty much every ball handler the Pistons has. You can almost say that with Corey Joseph. How many times have we seen him tonight on a bigger guy? Mostly Morris. Oh, yeah. Look at Corey going right back at it. Yeah, I like it. We used to practice those every day in the gym. Well, I'll attest to that. That little, I like it. That little baby in between her. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Marcus Morris warming up. He's got 24 points. Lippers got something to play for, no doubt about it. Jeremy Grant answering it the other end. You know, as you walk through this arena, it's like everybody knows. Everybody is, you know, notices this absence and are wishing him well. Specifically hunting hardware every time he takes the floor, but every time his body of work, when you read the stat sheet, seems to support him as being the front runner for that. Well, the last guy the Pistons picked number one in the entire draft, he was rookie of the year. Corey Joseph. Blocked by Reggie Jackson. Here come the Clippers. 18 seconds remaining in the quarter. The line. Zubats with the finish. It's a two-point game. In terms of winning games that are very competitive, hard fought, and closely uh, contested. Yeah, think back to the game on Friday in Boston. Jeremy Grant buries a three. And uh, Zubats doesn't look 240. He looks heavier. <laughs> David Lee out to Jeremy Grant. How about another triple for JG? Jackson, step back triple. Perfect. Wow. Net barely moved. Gets right here pretty quick. Isaiah Stewart with the bone bruise. Cade Cunningham finish. See what I mean? He makes his mind up and then he's gone. With the quick trigger. It rolled off. Nobody talks back to Coach Heathcote. Kennard. Clippers lead. Reggie Jackson lobs it up for Hartenstein. With Kennard, because he can shoot the ball, he can, he can go south for two or three quarters and still hurt you like crazy in the fourth. Livers gives it up. Bagley finishes. Clippers looking for something. Coffee gives it up. Kennard, one to shoot. Luke Kennard See? from an impossible angle. See? You can beat him up forever, but if he catches you, you're going down. Kennard with 13 points. Turn around. Jeremy Grant answers at this end. Oh, Clipper land. Luke Kennard with 11 points in the fourth quarter. Out of the timeout! Marvin Bagley on the feed from K. Cunningham. All sorts of contact. Coffee. Block. Cunningham with the basketball. Isaiah Livers got a piece of Coffee's three-point attempt. Cunningham crossed him up. Wow. Now Livers with his hands full of Zubox. Back out to Reggie. Four to shoot. Reggie against Bagley. Step back, triple try. Oh, buries it. 45 seconds to play. They led almost the entirety of this game. Morris, baseline, buries it. Depend on your defense in the exchange. Cunningham, head of steam. Cunningham lays it through. And took the two. 28 seconds to go and you need two possessions. You got to foul and foul soon. They're up on Luke Kennard. Don't necessarily want to foul him. Here comes the foul. They try to get Reggie Jackson. He somehow gets away from it, takes it to the rack. A foul of 13.4. They finally get it, but that was disastrous to yeah. the other end. Somehow Reggie Jackson got free. Going to let it go. And they will concede this one as Reggie Jackson dribbles it out. 